Hi, I'm Milton Rendell and welcome to Real News Friday. Been a big week, Melbourne Cup week. Don't know how you guys went. Hope you did well. Uh, I thought I did pretty well for about a minute and a half until there was a protest. And I thought I had first, second and third. Next minute I had nothing. So I've been sulking ever since and I hope you didn't have the same uh, misfortune as I did. On a more positive note, I received an invite this week from the developer uh, to go down and have a look at the new Catalyst building. Met up, quite also caught up with the Mayor. Uh, we had a chat with both the developer and the Mayor. Very exciting stuff. Um, they sort of went through what was going to happen over the next uh, few years and uh, talking about the interest and new interest that's coming into the area. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, was fortunate enough to go to the top of the building. Um, it will be finished pro probably six to seven months time. Um, the, the building itself consists of two commercial um, tenancies at the base, which we will be one of. Uh, and the reason we're taking the tenancy down there is we've actually uh, are the managing agent for the for the complete project up there. So uh, very proud to have received that, and very thankful to the developer for um, allowing us to have that. Um, so getting back to it, got up to the, uh, to the top of the building. There is amazing views from that top area for. Um, because there's a garden area, um, but it is amazing. And there's also, as soon as you get to the, uh, start, as you go out the buildings, there's quite a different aspect. And Midland looks very different from up there. Um, you don't realise how much greenery there is. You don't realise some of the character of the buildings uh, that you can see uh, throughout the area. And um, yeah, just felt very, uh, probably, probably not the way I've seen Midland before. And I've seen a very positive light, but um, just looking at the way that we are, the infrastructure is definitely here in Midland. You sit, uh, you know, don't realise how close things are. Sometimes when you're walking around, they seem a bit more of a distance. I'm very, very pleased with what I saw and very excited about what I heard going forward. And once again, we're very proud to be able to uh, land that project and to be relocating there. And I thank George Sarich, who has uh, been our landlord for the last 18 years. Uh, but time moves on and as businesses do, so we'll be moving down the down the track there. Now the, the residential side of this complex uh, consists of one uh, bedroom units, two, two bedroom, one bathroom units, two bedroom, two bedroom uh, bathroom apartments and three bedroom, two bathroom apartments as well. Ranging from 56 square metres up to 100 square metres. Um, complete secure underground parking of 110 bays, car bays downstairs. Um, there's also nine commercial uh, bays as well. It'll be it's going to be the centrepiece of the new development in Midland uh, for the new junction area and um, also whilst I was up there I've got a, uh, a surprise and interesting outlook of the development of the park and, and where the playground will be. Um, it's going to be very very exciting, it's going to be a very pretty area um, and I encourage everyone to have a look at uh, the new junction websites as well as the, uh, the City of Swans websites to see what is developing. It, it is going or is going to be amazing so i encourage you to have a look check out more uh, check out our facebook page for some of the photos that we've taken to give you an update of what's been happening uh, and also check out realestateplus.com.au have a great weekend